signal a weather radio warning device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built weather radios will be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of these radios and the warning alarm system will be conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will only be activated for warnings in selected watches affecting the listening area. We interrupt this program. Rescue alert. Rescue alert. interrupt this program to activate the emergency alert system for the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area because of an Amber Child Abduction Alert. There's an Amber Alert for a two-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy in the D.C. area tonight. Police are looking for a black 2020 RAV4 Toyota with Maryland plates. The car was last seen going northbound on New Hampshire Avenue. Police say a two-year-old and a four-year-old were in the back seat when the SUV was stolen from the 3800 block of New Hampshire Avenue. That is between 8th Street and and Quincy Street Northwest in the Petworth neighborhood. Police describe the two-year-old girl as a as black. She's wearing a purple jacket and a four-year-old boy as black wearing a green and gray jacket. Anyone with information should contact D.C. police tonight. You can see vo- photos of that vehicle tonight at WTOP.com. For the following 
counties in Virginia, Culpeper, King George, Orange, Rappahannock, Southern Fauquier, Spotsylvania and Stafford. Winter storm warning in effect from 1 a.m. Sunday to midnight Sunday night. Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 4 to 8 inches and ice accumulations of around one-tenth of an inch expected. The areas affected include portions of central and northern Virginia. The hazardous weather conditions are expected from 1 a.m. Sunday to midnight Sunday night. The heaviest snow is most likely just after sunrise Sunday into Sunday afternoon. Impacts, travel could be very difficult. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. When venturing outside, watch your first few steps taken on steps, sidewalks, and driveways, which could be icy and slippery, increasing your risk of a fall and injury.
This concludes the statewide tornado drill and test of the Virginia Emergency Alert System. Outdoors, 
in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The Virginia State Police and the Virginia Missing Children Clearinghouse has issued an ad alert on behalf of the Giles County Sheriff's Office for a child abduction that occurred on May 2nd, 2021 at 1,200 hours. The child is believed to be in extreme danger and was last seen at Big Stony Creek, Ruthenay, Virginia. Abducted is Noah Gabriel Trout, white male, black hair, blue eyes, two years old, two foot nine inches tall, weighing 33 pounds. Last seen wearing a gray shirt with an orange jacket. The suspect has not been identified but is possibly wearing a blue jacket, blue jeans, black tennis shoes and a black beetle. Possibly in a dark colored SUV or van. For further information, contact the Giles County Sheriff's Office at 540921384 or visit twitter.com slash bspaleerts.
At 5.20 p.m., a potentially destructive Sophia thunderstorm was located near Fredericksburg, moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. This is a very dangerous storm. Hazard, 2-inch hail and 75 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect considerable damage to trees and power lines. Your life is at significant risk if outdoors. In addition to some trees falling into homes, wind damage is possible to roofs, sheds, open garages, and mobile homes. Locations impacted include Stafford, Fredericksburg, King George, Fairview Beach, Massaponics, Spotsylvania, Falmouth, Pasadena, Stones Corner, Roseville, Ramoth, Thornburg, White Oak, Sealston, Jersey, Doak, Leland, Rollins Fork, Spring Valley, and Brook. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. This is a potentially dangerous situation with tornado-like wind speeds possible. Mobile homes and high-profile vehicles are especially susceptible to winds of this magnitude and may be overturned. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The storm has the potential to cause serious injury and significant property damage.
This didn't go off.
located along a line of way from Newland and Hall to near Center Hill to near Burke. Local north is at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour with gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage and winds will cause some trees and large branches to fall. This could injure those outdoors, as well as damage homes and vehicles. Roadways may become blocked by down trees. Localized power outages are possible. Unsecured light objects may become frigid miles. Locations impacted include Centerville, Reston, South Riding, Herndon, Fairfax, Vienna, Brambleton, Mantua, Dulles International Airport, Burke, Linton Hall, Oakton, Sterling, Chartilly, Wolf Trap, Great Falls, Maryfield, Bull Run, Haymarket, and Arcola. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.